Variety is the spice of life with the Manitoba canola <laughs> growers and Ellen Pruden uh, all the time. Uh, we're kind of like uh, getting out of ruts tonight, mm -hmm. although these are everyday meals that uh, you know you can make kind of on the fly, but we're kind of fancying them up a little bit and, and taking them to that next level. And so we're doing a spicy tofu. This is a tofu dish for everyone who has ever said, but I don't like tofu. Yes. And you ask them, have you ever tried tofu? They're like, well, no, no. I just don't like the look of it. So we're going <laughs> to fix that tonight. Go ahead, This Ellen. is the dish. Yeah. Okay, so this is the extra firm tofu. This is what it looks like. You're going to buy it in a package, make sure it's extra firm, and you can see how firm it is. So the difference being that if it's a little bit of a, like the not, if, or just firm tofu, it'll be more sort of juicy. But this is what you want. Juicy or more crumbly, yeah. like this one, like, let me break it in half. Yeah, see how go. nice? And you want to cut it into cubes, all the same size, because we want even cooking. Mm -hmm. We've coated that in cornstarch. That's the key okay. here. Okay. So we've heated up our pan. I'm going to add in our canola oil, because we want to saute our uh, tofu so it gets nice and crispy. So we just want to coat the bottom of the pan just beautifully like that. Canola oil works great, because it's your everyday um, oil that you can be using for sauteing and, you know, of course, for baking as well. Yeah, it's a good starter for, for everything. And the thing about tofu is that, uh, like, it just really picks up the flavors of kind of whatever it is that you're cooking with it. Right. And so we're going to add a lot of flavors. Yes. But first we need to brown that. So in we go. Okay. Nice and gentle. We're on. Turn that up I think we need to, yeah, bit. let's get that okay. a little crispier. Okay, so it's gonna start to brown, and that's what the key is with this. And by this, you know, you can assemble this really quickly for your weekday meal. It's a great recipe to take if you're having a potluck, and maybe you have a vegetarian friends. And I think this actually qualifies as vegan, so, so yeah, like, it's good for everybody. Totally. So this will brown, and we're gonna then end off with these beautiful little golden brown um, nuggets of goodness here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nuggets of goodness. I know. So, the, you know, the key is, is having some patience let them saute but then also turning them as you go you can use um, your fingers a knife I'm a professional I use that but then really you want to be like use turning a knife them. to turn yeah a knife a fork just whatever a happens fork. to be what handy. am I talking about I don't know, Ellen. <laughs> so let's get the other saute pan going okay. here and because the other part is adding your vegetables right. now you can have a variety of different vegetables I love broccoli with this and some red peppers for that color and that bounce and so we're going to uh, once this is cooked what a great sizzle now we yeah got no, it. yeah yeah it's perfect beautiful in okay you want to drain it a little bit then we're okay. gonna add in a little more canola oil into this pan so broccoli Peppers, peak of the market, of course. That's where those Yum. are from, locally uh, grown. Um, but yeah, you can kind of use, I guess, whatever veg you happen to happen to have kicking around. Totally. Right? Yeah. I think it's the variety piece that you want. Mm -hmm. We have ginger and garlic. Great base for this. That goes in, and that's going to get sautéed. And then we're going to add in our broccoli. We need all of those. The amazing thing about there broccoli is the second you put it in the bit, you start to cook it a little bit, it just like brightens up so Doesn't much. Doesn't it? It's just a yeah. quick little saute. Like we just want to soften it. And that's the wonderful thing about these veg. Like they can still have that nice crunch to it. Yeah. And rather being kind of lumps and limpy. Yeah. And we don't we don't need to have any of that. And brighten it up, yeah. And we'll just move that around. That's so you can see how they're nicely starting to It doesn't to even turn. take that long. No, it yeah. doesn't. So we're gonna get this going. And then really it's about the assembly of the sauce. So get your rice on. We're using you know, a really nice uh, basmati rice, yep. but you can use a barley or a brown, brown rice, rice, whatever you want. Yep. Get that started first, get the sauce going. So our sauce is super simple. We're using a vegetable broth. Mm -hmm. We're gonna add in sugar. Oh, that's mirin. Ginger. If you don't have mirin at home, you can use like a dry uh, white wine or... Mirin? Mirin. Mirin. Okay. So if you don't have that dry white wine or even an apple juice could work. Okay. And then we have our soy sauce. And so we're not looking for like a whole bunch of heat or real kick. We're using like just a sambal um, olek. So it has a softer, it's not a sriracha, like it doesn't have that bite to okay, it. Okay, so where it would be sort of in and between be like a hot sauce and like... Yeah, but there's more depth to it. There's lots of chilies going on, okay. and it's a vinegar base, but it's not gonna it's like blow your, blow your, off your mind and, off. Okay. That, that's not what you wanna have going on. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is looking great. We're gonna add in our sauce. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna add back in our tofu. Okay because we want that goodness to go on. Mm -hmm. 
back in. Get that everything coated really nice. Des, I want you in my kitchen every day helping me here. Anytime. And a super simple um, cornstarch again and some water. Just to and, kind of thicken it up a little bit. And this is going to thicken it up. Okay. Add that in. Oh, there you go. And you know you're going to be putting that over some beautiful rice and it's just going to be wonderful. It will blow season. everybody's mind. Um, there we go. Spicy tofu here with Manitoba Canola Growers. When we come back, fish skillet dinner. I know. Mm. Ellen loves this stuff. You're going to love it too. Stay with us here on Great Taste of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Brought to you in part by Manitoba Agriculture.